if you got some weed, put that shit in the air right now. Roll one up. And let's ride. Real smoke is only. Don't be bogart that shit. Puff puff pass. Smoking swish sweets. Got the CD on the beat. Cause I'm blowing hella heat. I'm so high I'm up my feet. I can see the whole street. Cause I'm blowing on that good, good. You got that fire. Let's get higher and take it back to your hood. Fuck Reggie, I'm a smoke another girl. Hop in the car, roll up the window. Give a fuck about the cops unless the shit roll. How's it going, guys? Back at you again today with another crazy cannabis review today hooked up with Delta Farms got some THCP not sure if you guys have heard of it but it is the hottest new cannabinoid on the block so it seems done some research and uh, THCP looks like it was accidentally uh, discovered by some Italian scientists I can't remember exactly what they were trying to do but they uh, they uh, discovered a natural analog of THC which uh, had seven um, seven alkyl groups I think it said it is in the uh, carbon chain for THC and it makes it up to 30 times more potent in the chemical structure that doesn't necessarily mean as far as what I'm reading according to my research that it'll get you 30 times higher but I've been watching a lot of videos seeing reviews and people are saying that it gets you pretty messed up and it seems to be the case that it is a lot stronger psychoactively than uh, Delta 9 THC so I'll show you guys what I got today. I actually have two cartridges that I was supplied with. Let's see if you guys can see these. Not sure. We got Chemdog and Sunset Sherbert. One more time here. I looked at the lab report on the website, followed the little QR code that I have on the back. I actually did check out the Sunset Sherbert, and then I went and looked at the Chem Dog after I, uh, you know, uh, looked at the Sherbert just to do some comparisons. They both have the same amount of a THCP. The Delta 8 seems to be pretty standard in almost every cart that I've seen. So, at least, at, at the least, about 60 plus percent. And uh, so I didn't even really pay attention to that. But the THCP for this one. It says 1.3% on the uh, lab report, so this stuff must be uh, pretty potent or uh, or something along the lines of that for them to only want to use such a low amount and not just give it to you like straight up or anything like Delta 8 or Delta 10. That would be my assumption. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try today. And another comment though I want to make is that I have also tried THCO so that means I'm going to do a comparison if I remember to by the end of this video on which one I probably think is more strong maybe better for what reasons give or take and another thing before I go ahead and light up that uh, cartridge I'm not going to do these today but also got these in the mail another uh, gift from my friends at Spencery some sour green apple Delta 8 CBC THCV gummy so basically like a full spectrum uh, hemp edible I guess you would uh, technically say from what I was uh, reading up and looking at with other businesses with similar products and uh, one thing that I like about these on the packaging is that it seems to give you all the ingredients all that stuff just like a regular food product so here within the next few days once I have a complete full day to myself I might just uh, I don't know maybe eat the whole bag we'll see but 
back to these cartridges. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to go ahead with here. Sunset, Sherbert, or Chem Dog. Something's telling me Chem Dog, so let's go with that. Just gotta pop it open here. Alright. Flips open just like that. Alright, my got a ceramic coil in it complete full one gram I know a lot of dispensaries out here in Ohio they uh, jip you when it comes to cartridges and such they like to give you under a gram or only like 0.8 and things like that and stuff or uh, just just random uh, weird amounts but uh, so far when it comes to Delta 8 and everything stuff like that and with these straight up one gram just a little bubble in there probably from the initial fill up and the device I'm going to be using today is what I normally use for speaking of medical is uh, a device that I normally use for my medical pens and I'll show that to you here get it out every now and then I haven't really bought a uh, cartridge from the dispensary in a while since I've uh, been getting some of these hemp ones trying out all these new cannabinoids but I haven't brought this one out in a while because some of these uh, cartridges are a little bit too wide even though they have the correct threading this one looks like it's going to be uh, good enough to fit in there so we'll go ahead and give it a try and uh, the name of this battery is called the Phoenix Nest and it's by Fireland Scientific I'll go ahead and post the link to that in my uh, in my description for the video. And what you do is, I don't know if you saw me twisting something on here, but the battery will come on with these little screw adapters, devices, whatever you want to call them here. And they go onto the bottom of the cartridge. And then that makes it to where the cartridge is magnetized just drops right in there and then on the bottom you have a low and a high setting and then it just takes like a standard like you know just regular charger I guess you would say almost like 75 or so percent of the chargers for like anything have that a uh, little charger there so I got like 10 of them for random different devices that I've used on this thing and it works so and I can't remember exactly what the voltages are for um, the low and high setting, but I'm pretty sure the low one starts at around 2.2 volts, but I don't know the uh, exact numbers for the high, but enough of the uh, numbers and all the devices and stuff, let's get high. on the high setting I didn't mean to do that but <clears throat> for anyone who does get this battery one cool thing that it does do is that when you hit it no button and it's got a little carburetor like a little tiny hole very hard to see right here you can or can't use it and <clears throat> it vibrates whenever you puff on it <coughs> man mm. I don't know how to de uh, describe the taste on that. I'm going to go ahead and get another good puff here. Now that I'm expecting it to be on the high setting, let's go ahead and get a good rip. So, it 
it, uh, I would say it's kind of harsh, not too harsh. The, uh, the coughing that I was it, it doing was just, uh, something that kind of came a few seconds after the, uh, the harshness on my throat wasn't like right away, kind of comes a couple seconds after blowing the hit out, but, um, uh, I'm almost a feeling an immediate head change before I did this video. I did a couple, uh, well, not a couple, I did one dab, and uh, I smoked a bong, but yeah, I have an insane tolerance, so that, that just kind of did a little bit for me, just getting ready to do the video, and uh, I'm definitely uh, quite a head change, if not, uh, I wouldn't say double, but... I'm like feeling myself go up as I'm talking. It's a, uh, yeah, wow. The taste, I don't really know about the, uh, it's very kind of oily, um, almost bittery kind of taste, at least for this chem dog. Not in like a bad way, but uh, it's not like the stereotypical kind of like fruity as far as uh, vape in general or just uh like fruity uh cannabis strains like something with uh lemon or other terps and stuff like that and it doesn't really specify that it has like a blend of terpenes or anything like that in this so it might just be a straight up uh delta eight with no flavor from the uh you know chem dog strain or something i'm not entirely sure when i looked at the uh lab report I went and was mainly just looking for the THCP but it does not taste bad it just has more of a, a kind of bittery not a sweet fruity taste which uh, I'm used to for just vapes in general especially because I uh, work with and know a lot of people who vape uh, nicotine products and just the the smell and stuff in general so strong that you can basically uh, taste it and I've had some cannabis uh, <clears throat> vape products that have had a similar taste and or smell and those are normally ones that I don't stick with because they have uh, cutting agents and stuff so this one does not look like to have any sort of thing like that in it as far as the lab report like I said, just did a quick graze over, but this stuff right here is the real deal. Rambling on right now, I know, but just those two hits got me, got me baked um, in comparison to what I was before I started this video. I just had like a little buzz going on. So anybody here wants to start their day, end their day, or just keep their going nice, I would do it with these Delta Farms D8 plus THCP vapes right here. Go to deltafarmsvape.com. I'll have the link for that in the description. And you guys have a good day. Stay smoking. Crazy Cass out.